So in this video, we're going to talk about voltmeters and ammeters. I think most of us already know what these are. Uh, voltmeters, of course, measure the potential difference across two points on a circuit, right? They are always connected in parallel with the two points, right? And uh, we always say that ideal voltmeters have infinite resistance. And as for ammeters, Right, they will always be connected in series with the circuit. Okay, series. Right, and of course, ammeters measure the current through which or the current that flows through it. And uh, ideal ammeters have zero resistance. And uh, so let's look at uh, how they are connected over here. So I think this is quite simple. Of course, the ammeter would uh, measure the current flowing through this point, and the voltmeter measures the potential difference across this resistor. Now, how do we deal, however, with non-ideal ammeters and voltmeters? So, of course, a non-ideal ammeter will have some resistance. So, typically, the ammeter resistance can be treated as if it were in series with the uh, ammeter like so, ammeter resistance. Let us call it Ra. Okay. And, uh, of course, the effect of this on your current measure, right, this will always lower right, the actual current that you measure, okay, because effectively your resistance is a little bit higher. Uh, as for voltmeter resistances, sometimes uh, or usually you can treat it as if it were in parallel like this, Rd, okay. And so if a voltmeter has a finite resistance, you can see what it actually does. Right? Placing a resistor in parallel like this will lower the effective resistance Okay. And so typically what this means is that it will lower the potential difference measured across uh, R. Right? So in both cases, when you have a non-ideal ammeter or voltmeter, the readings are lowered slightly. 